Hello, well, welcome back. Doing a little update on the Europa project. Um, been at a horse show all day, so it's almost eight o'clock. We got back and there's a little job that I need to do that's uh, a mod actually to uh, reinforce the mass balance for the tailplane. And uh, nothing big, nothing fancy. I just gotta cut out some phenolic boards to uh, mount up in the mass, mass balance support where the lead weights will ride against as, as I move the stick back and forth. And these keep the, the weight from going back and forth and causing uh, strain and weakening that over time. So I was just going to give you a quick update on what I'm doing for that and, uh, and whatnot. So as you can see, there's the mass balance arm back there. I've got the light behind it. But that round thing, that's the lead weight. And that tall U-shaped thing is where the mass balance weight will travel up and down based on the stick position. So this is forward stick, and this is back stick. And so what that does is counterweight the, the tail plane in its flying condition. And, and as you can see, there is a gap on either side of the mass balance arm or the, the weight there and that gap has to be filled with some uh, boards that are perfect and designed for a low friction and uh, many wear cycles um, it's kind of hard to cut the problem I have is I don't have a table saw <laughs> so uh, have to get a little different with the way I cut it. I do have a band saw, but I don't want to chase a nice curvy line and sand it down and whatnot. And I actually got this tip from Mike Patey watching his channel. I do have an angle grinder or an uh, oscillating vibration angle saw. And so I'm going to put this ruler up against this board. Here's another board here for, for reference. And uh, this has already been kind of sanded down to. to make up the difference there and so I've marked off the points where I've got to drill and screw in um, some attachment points but you can see that line that I scribed in there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with a saw and just follow this ruler and just try to cut that as straight as possible it doesn't have to be perfect just doesn't have to be very big either it's just enough to keep that from oscillating so uh, these are the, the plans for it. It's called Mod 70. And as you can see, they they go in that tall U-shape uh, area here. And they keep that, that weight from going back and forth. That's a side profile view of the uh, mass balance arm. All right, here's the phenolic board. Uh, the original one was a 12 by 12 sheet that I cut down. And then I have, from that phase, I sanded it down to the distance I need to fill the gap between the mass uh, balance weight and the structure that supports it. And then you just saw me cut out this one at a just over 15 millimeters. There was really nothing in the the instructions on how wide this needed to be so based on the uh, 4.8 millimeter hole that you drill I just tripled that and this is what it looks like after it's been drilled and countersunk and so use a uh, 4.8 millimeter uh, drill which is a number 12 and so drilled those holes into this board as support 
and then used uh, just whatever bit I had to kind of match the, the head of the screw to countersunk and, and did that by hand. And that's below the surface by 0.3 millimeter. Um, just, it didn't really specify, it just said make sure it's not protruding. And that way when the weight goes by, uh, it doesn't it doesn't rub the, the head of the screw. So you can kind of kind of see it below there. And so using the uh, calipers, I found the holes, which that one's the center point, and then inset by 30 millimeters. And that's it.